properly utilizing influencer marketing for your hair brand can create huge wins. But how do you do it and how do you get it set up properly and what about if you're on a budget? Well today we are going to set up an influencer marketing platform on the brand that we are building together on the Building a Brand series and I'm going to show you something kind of interesting that maybe you didn't think about. Why don't we use the customers not only for user generated content but invite them to become influencers for the brand. So it's a little bit different concept and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So let's hop over to the computer and get started. Okay, we're over at the Hair Fleek website and pretty exciting stuff. We got a sale last night. So I'm gonna show you how to set up the influencer marketing but for those that have been following the brand, we're about three weeks in. I'm showing you how to build the brand from start to it's never finished. Just wanna let you know, thank you. This was actually from one of the YouTube subscribers grabbed an order of some of the raw Indian hair, which is at an amazing price. Now, to get set up with influencer marketing, we're gonna do this a little bit different. What we wanna do is utilize our current customer base. Now, this is not gonna be as impactful if you have a brand new store like this, but if I threw it on something like private label, which gets tons and tons of orders every single day, it can be much more impactful. But I'm planning for this site to be busy like that, so I'm gonna show you how to get it set up. Now, Shopify has their own influencer marketing platform called Shopify Collabs. It's decent. It, it's not the best, but it's also free. So since we're just starting off this uh, platform, uh, Hair Fleek and building this brand, we got and we're doing this on a budget. I'm just not trying to throw a bunch of money at this and be unrealistic for those that are trying to start a hair business uh, with a budget. So we're going to go ahead and install this app. And I think it's pretty good. Uh, we have it set up on a couple clients' websites and it's worked out pretty well for them. And what this is gonna do is gonna find creators who drive sales. See how perfect that was? Uh, so basically what we're gonna do is collaborate with creators to promote your products to new audiences and use Shopify to make it easier than ever. Since this is integrated directly with Shopify, it does make tracking, I feel like it makes tracking and everything else a lot easier. Uh, find creators who perfectly match your brand and values to build strong, effective partnerships. That's what we're looking for. Join our Clabs network and have creators discover and promote your products with little effort on your side. So here's another thing. This is also a free and great way just to get your brand in front of creators. I mean, can't ask for anything more than that. Uh, create discount codes, referral links, and send products as gifts right from your Shopify admin. So that's pretty awesome. We're gonna have to hire some influencers and see what see how they can do. Easily track creator performance and pay them automatically with your Shopify bill. So this is a pretty easy way where it's just gonna come straight out of your Shopify account uh, to pay the influencers. Okay, so let's get started. We have service at hairfleet.com, product category. Uh, I would say beauty and primary audience is female and we wanna work inside the US. Finish setup, that's it. No, it's not that easy, but it is pretty easy. Uh, so we have our profile here. We can add values to match your brand creators. Uh, we have people here. So you can, automatic payments are now active. All new commission payments earned by creators will process automatically. Collabs terms and conditions have applied. Uh, updated to reflect this, learn about automatic payments. So let's go ahead and check out some of the tabs here. So we have recruiting, and these are some of the different influencers that are on the platform. For me, I'd much rather work with smaller influencers that, that really know their audience, that have a targeted audience. Some of the bigger influencers are just so expensive and it's just so broad. Uh, so we're going to have under here programs, we're going to have a default here, they're going to earn 10% on all products uh, and give a discount off 10% off orders. Okay, and gifts, we can set up gifts, we're not going to set this up yet because I'm not giving anybody anything yet. Uh, but I think 10%, that's kind of the standard, is pretty fair. So connections, we don't have any connections yet, we have no offers, nothing archived, and then payments. Uh, same thing. So as we have start getting influencers setting this up and getting some commissions, I hope uh, we can see here. So there's going to be a 30 day holding period. I believe that's to help with if there's any returns, because what if you had a return? It would suck to pay a commission and someone returned it, right? 
So then under settings, we have information here, uh, verify your email address, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, verify my email address. You can invite collaborators, welcome collaborators. And then uh, I believe this created a page for us. So let me see, pages and not yet. Okay, so what we definitely wanna do is figure out how to create the page for the collaborators. Oh, here it is right here on the front page. Uh, let's see, let's create page. Uh, have you made a purchase from us before? Uh, so let's, let me update this. Uh, if yes, what's your order number? Okay, you're gonna understand why. You know, you're gonna understand why here soon. And we're gonna make all of these required. Uh, if you have purchased us before, what did you love about the product? Optional, and in one or two senses, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if I come up with some additional questions that we need to ask, I will have a follow-up video for this. Now, stick with me. Social accounts here, we're gonna add Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, so, oh, and TikTok. Not really into Twitch. Let's see, social accounts, and then uh, must add in their application, creator details, birthday, location. I think gender and location is pretty important. I'm not too worried about their birthday. Uh, online store collab, it's inactive, so let's activate this. Okay, so let's copy the link. I'm gonna show you what this page looks like, and then we're gonna go ahead and add it to our, ooh, that logo looks horrible. We're gonna add it to our menu. We're gonna just add this to the footer menu for now. Okay, so navigation and the main, oh, not the main menu. Let's head over to the footer menu and then say collab with us. Well, I guess we go pages and collabs. This is gonna make some sense here. Okay, so this is the basic setup. now. Once the influencers start coming in, they're gonna start coming in and you're gonna see them within the Collabs account. We can get emails for them when people are signing up. Uh, get discovered by collaborators. Uh, we're gonna change this back to 10% on all, oop, not 20, let's go 10, 10% on all products. We are going to activate. Yep, okay, active payments. They have this automatic payment because I think people before were not trying to pay people, which obviously doesn't make sense. Uh, let's see here, add media, import, select products. So we want to, let's grab that one. That's not what I wanted. I'm trying to get rid of the one that doesn't have uh, anybody there. So I can just add these pretty quick. Let's see if there's one like a beachy one. I'm trying to give some hair fleek beachy vibes. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this is looking better. The logos, the square logo, that's not giving right there. So I'm gonna have to update that. Um, it's so small, I almost might just use like the favicon. So you can see the hair fleek favicon. If I bring this down, you see that little favicon. So I, I don't know why that's so small, um, but that's okay. So we're gonna set this kind of stuff up. So we have the add social, oh, okay, it wants me to save, that's fine. Add social media account. Uh, let's see here, I haven't added the social media links here. So let's add the Instagram. So you just do this. Hair fleek. And then I think Facebook is the same. Let me go check the Facebook page. Okay, so here is the Hair Fleek Instagram, our Facebook page. So we can go ahead and add that. Now I'll go back just and add this extra stuff later. Uh, for the square logo, let me see here if we can do this. I'm gonna go through and on update the, uh, the logo here, add a square logo. I'm probably, I don't know how this is gonna look. I think I used a large enough image for the PNG for the Favicon. Let's see how that looks. Let me see how this is gonna look. So let's go back to the collabs page. Uh, collabs, okay, so the square logo looks better than 
that hair fleek, like it's so small. I don't know how I would fit the whole hair fleek name in there. Um, not too worried about it for now. So we can add our brand values. So we have no values, basically, sorry. Um, but that's okay. So we can add additional media. I think the I think this is good. And then let's see, how would you like to work with creators? Let's see, affiliate marketing, gifting, discount codes. Uh, what you offer outside collabs. Content creation, campaigns. Let's just, you might as well add it all. This is the thing, right? You can reject any of this. So you might as well just add it all and be like, hey, you know, so let me just save that real quick because it loves when we save. And I'll add the additional social links in a little bit. So add description or generate. Let's see. So hair fleek. Uh, Hair Fleek is a fun and flirty style hair company that offers the best prices on hair bundles, closures, and lace frontals. Our website verbiage is unique and how would I say it's sassy? and a little sassy we are looking for creators to create content for our social platforms and website um, i think that's good enough okay so this looks pretty good let's go ahead and save this now here's the thing beauty female uh, you can already see we're pretty much set up here. I have to add a couple more social links, not a big deal. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. I do not want to autom automatically approve applications. I want to make sure it's the right fit. If we wanted to go ahead and invite collaborators, we could do that, verify contact email. Okay, let me just go ahead and verify contact email. Okay, so Shopify, once you need to verify your email, you're gonna get an email that looks just like this. You click on verify email address, Another screen pops up and boom, we are verified. And once we are verified, we can easily click invite and we can invite people via email address, uh, pretty easy. You know, you can send a welcome email. So you definitely wanna go through and tweak these a little bit, like, you know, add your social links, talk a little bit more what you're looking to work, you know, who you're looking to work with. But here's the kicker. Here's another way we can get this started, okay? So if we head over to PostScript, which is our SMS, and we're gonna do the, about the same thing for email. So you have messaging, okay? And you have automations. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create another automation. So we're gonna create an automation flow, and we're gonna create a new automation, create flow. Trigger event, so this is when a Let's see here. We want something where a customer has ordered, order created, or after it's been delivered. Let's see. So order delivered, save. So once this order has been delivered, we want to say message. And it's going to say, uh, now that you have your order, please consider becoming an influencer. For hair fleek. Here are the details. So what we're going to do is we are going to and we're going to make this page look a little bit better here. What we're going to do is just be like, hey, Come be a um, come be an influencer for for hair fleek, and that's after it's after the order has been delivered. So you can see here, trigger order delivered. Now that you have been uh, now that you have your order, please consider being. And this is just real basic. Like I'm probably going to come back and make this a little bit more um, 
a little bit more sassy, a little bit more fun, a little bit more hair fleek, activate automation. Now, okay, so what this is gonna do is this is going to utilize our current customer base to invite them to become collaborators to the brand. This is something I don't see so many brands doing, but it is a powerful way to get more people invited and they're gonna feel like they're part of the brand by becoming an influencer. Basically meaning, look, you already have the product, why don't you sign up, get a coupon code and more information, right? So with a text message, you can only put so much information, but in the emails that we sent out, we're gonna set up a Klaviyo flow and within the emails, we're gonna have a little bit more information, a little bit more warning about this whole process. But this could be a game changer for you if you start collecting some influencers uh, after you start getting orders and getting them as part of, think about it as they're part of your sales team at this part, point. Now, because they have, and this is the key, we all know hair extensions are very expensive, okay? So when you generally, think about this, the normal way of hiring influencer, hey influencer, let me pay you money, let me send you product. You're gonna be out anywhere from three to, hundred, three to $500 like this. With this, the customer You've already sent the product, they already have the product. So you're not sending the product and you're just saying, hey, if you can sell some more of this product, we're gonna give you a commission. Well, okay, I might as well make a video. Now, like I said, we're gonna update the collabs page. Actually, I haven't updated that in a while. So let's go here real quick and let's see if we what we can do with the collabs as far as like text inside the page. So let's do a quick here. So if you have any questions about this, make sure you let me know in the comments below because this could be a big way for you to really um, start getting some influencers for your brand without sending them products, which is awesome. So what's, it, it doesn't look like it's allowing me to update this, um, this page. It might be saved. So what we can do is put a little bit more information in here. It's like, hey, you've already, you know, you already have an order for the brand from the brand, but I don't know if this shows up for the other side as well, like influencers that haven't signed up yet. So we're gonna have to be careful. We're gonna work on this a little bit more, but for now, I want you to think about the theory behind what we're working on here to start getting influencers. Now, I'm building this brand from scratch and showing you guys every step of the way. So hopefully you're all already subscribed and checking in because all you have to do is follow these steps. So continue to follow the brand and we're gonna see what type of action we can get with influencers, what kind of traffic they can drive, what type of commissions, like I'll pay 10% on products all day if someone's gonna send me a free customer. That's, you know, acquiring customers is expensive. So this is a free, think about it, we didn't, we're not paying for this app either. This is a free way to start connecting better with your customers to get them hooked in as influencers and then you can start making money or they can start making money with you and you guys all win together. So if you have any questions, let me know what you think about this strategy in the comments. I would love to hear from you and I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Building the Brand.